What can I help you with? I guess coming out of camp, how do you feel about the, uh, the progress you guys have made? We've gotten better uh, in all three phases. We're still in camp, though. Like, we're, Although we're getting ready for... for uh... What's up, Des? Um, we're still getting ready. You know, we're, we're getting ready for Northwestern now, but we're still in training camp mode. Uh, we'll break camp on Saturday. Reaching the end of camp, 10 days away from the season opener, are there still position battles you're soaring through, or, or do you have your depth chart almost essentially figured out? Yeah, there's some. You know, there's uh, we had a really hard, tough camp. There's guys that are s somewhere in, you know, little things that might limit them from being, you know, a 70-play guy. So we're working different combinations, which is fine because we've worked a lot of people in camp, and um, there's some position battles still going on in the inside of the O-line. Um, and again, you'd like to play just five eventually, but if we if it's too close to call, we'll play more than that. You know, I haven't made any decisions on that stuff. But they're all working really hard and they're getting better, so that's a good thing. Coach, what do you make of how the wide receiver room has progressed as uh, camp has gone on? They've gotten better um, in all phases, run, pass, understanding the game of football, so I'm pleased with their improvement. You know, we have some young, a lot of young receivers, so they have a lot of growth to make. So uh, saying that they've gotten better is a relative term. We still have a long way to go, um, but we will we'll continue to get better there. What stood out to you about Gavin in training camp, and is there any one thing, any be it a play, a moment, anything that you've seen out of him that's surprised you or pleasantly surprised you, anything that stands out? It hasn't surprised me, but I'm pleased to see that he, he understands things better. So that when you understand it better, you see it better. And when you see it better, you get you make decisions more quickly. So uh, what I see is a guy who is much more locked into what he has to do in his role and executing it more quickly. Going back to the O-line, the fact that you're able to have competition this deep into camp, I, mean, I guess, what does that say about the depth, the progress that, that has made since you've taken over? Yeah, it's been a slow, steady build, right, from when we got back. We had 11 linemen, um, and only a couple of them were Division One linemen. So we've literally every year just dedicated resources to the position, and now we're starting to have some depth that, you know, you need to have in a Big Ten program. Forget to win, you need it just to practice. So finally we're at the point where the scout team linemen that we're going against now are they're college football players. You know, they're, they're not just bodies that are there to take up a spot, you know. What have you seen out of Eric Rogers in training camp so far, and how is he fitting in with the rest of the corners and the secondary? Yeah, Eric's a, a very good player, uh, very impressed with his work ethic, his attention to detail. Eric's going to help us in a big way. Ten days still season opener, it feels like the off season is it's been a long time, but it's, the first game's almost here. What's your message to the fan base as you enter into the season? Just what do you, what should they expect out of Rutgers this season? Yeah, I can't wait. I love our fan base. Uh, I love our fans. They're passionate about Rutgers football. We're getting better, so they're going to have more, more to celebrate, more to be passionate about, and can't wait to get going. What have you seen from the way the line has uh, learned from Pat Flaherty's coaching and the way he's kind of connected with that group? Yeah, he's done a great job. You know, he and his, all his, he's got a few guys that help him out there, Scott Vallone. Uh, you know, being being the most senior of those guys, uh, Alex officers in there, PJ Barr. There's there's four guys that are at all different stages in their coaching career. But I mean, is there a better guy to learn from than Pat Flaherty for both the players and the coaches? And the end result is the line is playing as a more cohesive unit. Doesn't matter who's in there. They're identifying, making calls, staying on their blocks, straining more. So yeah, they're getting better. Aspect about Gavin that you, you and the coaching staff probably see better than any of us is his leadership qualities. Just has the, has he done anything to improve in that aspect? Have you seen him grow in that regard? Well, that happens when you do better, right? I mean, if you're confused and you're just keep, you know can't keep your own head above water, how are you going to lead anybody else? So I think as he's gotten more and more comfortable, he's made more and more plays. People want to follow you more when you make more and more plays. The confidence grows around you for you. And then I'm sure it grows in him. So, yeah, he has, he has things to be uh, genuinely confident about now and not just say, you know, I, I never understood coaches who said, hey, you, you know, you, you need to be more confident. Well, if I'm telling you that, there's no chance you're going to be more confident, right? There's something that's leading you not to be, not to have that confidence in yourself. So it, I don't really know if there's a way to trick it. You know, I think you got to earn it.
and he's earning it this camp.